Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kakaibang hamon ang hinarap ng inang si Sab Magalona, ang anak ng famous rap artist na si Francis Magalona. Ang anak ni Sab na si Pancho, 17 days old pa lang, agaw buhay na, almost died, underwent brain surgery, pero ngayon, he is a living miracle. What saved his life? So, kakamustahin natin si Sab Magalona. This is such a powerful story of love. Hello! Hi. Hello! 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 Hello, hello dear! Hi. And hello, yes. Pancho! Hi. I'll take out my mask. Yes, Negative yes. tayo. <laughs> hello, dear! Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, dear. Come in, come Can we text? Yes, yes. What a beautiful oh, home. Thank you. My gosh, this is so nice. Thank you. Hello, Jim. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful home. Living here in 2017. 2017. Yeah. Yes. As soon as she got pregnant. Uh, so lumipat kayo dito. Uh, it, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Did you design all of this? Well, yeah. Well, this, this first floor. This is completely yeah. Sam's uh -oh. idea. Uh -oh. She renovated this whole place. This Ang wasn't ganda. like this at all. Uh -oh. You know them, Jim and Sam, famous <laughs> podcast. Na starting starting to vlog. Yes. Pero yes, really yes. podcast kayo yes. kilala, no? Mm -hmm. When did you start doing a podcast? 2018, no? Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, months after Pancho was born. Yes. But why did you want to do a podcast? It was, I think, a medium that we were both comfortable in. And yes. it was actually Sam's way of getting over the trauma of pregnancy. Oh, so, yun so, din yun. Yeah. 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 Oh, healing, kumbaga yung podcast, naging healing portal. How old na is Pancho? Pancho is four, four. Vito is two. Di four and two, at hindi sila nag-aaway. Hindi. Uh -oh. No, for the most part, no. Pag maingay lang to, naiinis si Pancho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get, Vito, let's go to your playroom. Can you walk? Ba? Ba? Yeah. Oh. So, Show okay. Off. Come on. Oh, very good. You can walk. Amen. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Yeah. Oo oh, oh, nga, so still tiptoeing, yeah. pero mabababa natin yes. yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Come on, Vito. Wow. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. We actually moved Pancho down here mm -mm, because mm -mm. para hindi siya mahirapan to keep going up tama, and down the stairs. Tama, tama. Oh, oh. Pancho is such an adorable boy. But let's go back to that day mm -hmm. na buntis ka, maganganak ka, mm -hmm. and you knew something felt off. Parang a fairy tale thing. Now we weren't trying, we weren't expecting, and then biglang oh it's my first pregnancy, and then biglang twins, and then biglang boy and girl, and it's just it's just so magical and. Everything was so smooth sailing, no problems at all. On my sixth month of pregnancy, I suddenly started bleeding. I wasn't panicking or anything, but then I did see myself in the mirror and parang namumutla ako. Mm -hmm. But I had pregnancy-related anemia, which is pretty common naman pala. But then, yun nga, I just felt like, okay, wait, I think there's something wrong here. So we went to the hospital <clears throat> and then it took the following day pa that that's when they did the ultrasound and then wala nang heartbeat yung girl that was 10 a.m. on February 8th and then you know it was also fast na yeah. um i was losing a lot of blood and then they said we ha we, ha we have to do an emergency c-section and then yeah they tried to save Pancho. And I was also given a second chance because my hemoglobin level was really, really low. And I shouldn't have I shouldn't have made it. Yeah, you but, could have died. Yeah, I was in the ICU for 10 days. Um, I was I was so out of it. And I really have to say that my husband, si Jim, was such a rock talaga. Can you imagine? He was going back and forth. Me in the ICU, our son in the NICU, and our daughter in the morgue. So 
he was, and he was just, you know, putting on a brave face, just holding my hand, not breaking down. And that was, <laughs> yeah, that was very, very, that just really strengthened our love. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 what a guy. Yeah. No, but what was it like when you saw Pancho? Oh, it's so funny because it was Valentine's Day when I saw him. So um, I was finally cleared that it was okay for me to go there. And by, I felt like I was going on a date. I actually like put lip tint on, put on some um, cheek tint. And then I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to meet my baby. <laughs> and then I got there and he was there in the NICU and he wasn't really moving much. I remember his eyes were covered pa and uh, he was in the incubator. But I just thought, oh my gosh, like my heart was exploding. Like this is my child. Yeah. Can I just get tissue? <laughs> I was not expecting this. I was like, shake it, Hold on. Teacher. Aurene. There's rain. And then, wash. Baba. Oh, yeah. Mama, you can do it. Sun, sand, dried up all, all the, the rain. rain. So it is. You went see spider. You're so adorable. <laughs> I'm cute, cute, so cute. He's so guapo. Actually, Jim told me the truth. He didn't want to tell me because nga, I was so out of it. He wanted me to really heal. But he was. He told me later on that the doctors had said, parang when I was being wheeled into the ICU, parang they said maybe idaan yun na si Sab sa NICU to say goodbye because I, we don't think he's going to last. When I saw him, I was just like, oh, you're still here. You're really a fighter. Because when he was born, there were a lot of issues. Yeah. Up until the... Let's talk about those issues. Yeah. 60 days siya in the, in the NICU. For the first three days, he was diagnosed with a heart condition, like pulmonary hypertension. And then on the third day, it just magically disappeared. And then like the doctors were like, what's happening? And then parang even his um, oxygen levels were very low. And then out of nowhere, it just normalized. And it was just so miraculous. And, um, you know, part of it, I think, is because he automatically had an, uh, a guardian angel in Luna, my, my daughter. Yeah. I thought, we're just going to have to get through this, and then we'll go home, and then everything's going to be fine. But then, parang after a week, maybe, the doctor sat me down and said na, parang you have to prepare yourself because he will have some disabilities talaga. And, you, and, and, and for me, I... It's so hard for a parent to hear that. I really, yeah. I remember lang na. I really, I broke down because it's like, what? What are you talking about, diba? And um, that was something na I cried it out. And then, it was from then on, it was, that's fine, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it work. Um, and we're gonna give him the, all the tools and opportunities to give him the best um, mm -hmm. potential to, to yeah. bring out the best in him. Yeah. Did you blame yourself? The only thing, I, I was for a time actually. I only um, found out just siguro a year ago that I was actually suffering from depression pala. I didn't know because it was all, um, you know, parang just keep doing it, keep going. Kasi he had like siguro every week for doctor's appointments. Yan. Yes. So it was like there was no time for me to process how I felt. And then biglang, I got pregnant again. So there was like no time for me to really process yeah. much. And, it and was you just, must have been so scared. I was, I was. Yeah. Wipe lang okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. And yeah. So yeah, I found out that I was actually depressed, and I didn't know it because I felt like, oh, I'm not, I'm not lying down in bed and you know crying all day. So how could that be? But the psychiatrist said um, it comes in all forms, and uh, for you, there is post-traumatic stress disorder from. Um, the the difficult um, birthing experience and it crossed over to my um, personal and business 
uh, stuff because I just couldn't trust myself in making decisions. Yeah. When I was being told by the doctors, when I first went there and they were parang, you know, not really, really doing all the tests that I feel yeah. like they should have, I trusted them and I didn't make, I feel like I should have asserted myself and said, no, there's really something wrong. So you have to check it now. You have to do something. And I think there was a lot of blame, yeah. self-blame mm -hmm. in na parang. I did that too. Yeah. Parang, why didn't you do it? Why yeah. didn't you... Alam mo Parang... Of course, now I know that it's not my fault. Yes. Of course, like... Of course... Um, I'm not... I've never been pregnant before. I mean, I read all the baby Same. books. Pero, like, this is something that no one wanted to happen. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm coming to terms with that. And I'm... Yeah. I'm 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 still in the process of healing. Oh. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Until today, seeing Pancho at four, mm. you're still coming to terms that it's not your fault. De, ako okay uh -oh. na ako na. I know na. I know okay. it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. And I uh, know it's more of the the PTSD lang of learning to trust myself and my decisions. But it's still a struggle. Especially for me, na I sorry, and dami kong ano pero mm -hmm. I, I was also diagnosed with adult ADHD. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's that comes with it. Na parang I have such a hard time making decisions, and sober siyang na trigger na tong traumatic experience na to. Yeah. So, parang I just I, I'm still learning yeah. to trust myself and like even with my creative process. I think the the hardest part was just making sure that. He would survive. Yeah. Oh, so it was all about that. It was all about survival. Eh? So, you know, everything else that came after was relatively not as as as. Ah, uh, parang hindi ka na as ano non. Yeah, because parang nung time niyon, it was it was life or death. He was going to the hospital four to five times a week with sab. He'd see a neuro. He'd see someone for his heart. He'd see someone for his lungs. So, parang now, now that. It's it's such a it's, it's very different, you know. Yeah. So, in the very beginning, yeah, that was the the hardest part. Yeah. Oh, oh. And and dealing with the fear of yeah, losing him, like the parang ko baka also comparing it to all the parents that go through. And we we live in a completely different world. Like Correct. When, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> so like when Sab had Pancho, like you know, I didn't experience the like why I'd go out on a social event and someone would say. Yeah, yung anak ko may fever eh. Tapos ako like, oh my God, may fever yung anak mo? Kasi kung ako yun, I'd be freaking out. You know, uh -huh. I'd be like, no, we not the world stops. You know, because uh -huh. like, I'm always fearing. So, that was, I think, the hardest obstacle to get wow. over. Clearly, you fought for your son's life. Yeah. You did. How did you do it when he got home? Oh, yeah. Um, what... I think we did right was to to just take it one day at a time. We had these wonderful nurses for two weeks to help us transition into into the home space. And then I was just so happy na parang my gosh, like I can't believe he's here because we we used to go home and our kid wasn't with us, diba? So it was really just so magical. Hindi ako makapag-complain about like, you know, sleepless nights or whatever. Because it's like, oh my gosh, like I had 60 days without my son. So I'll take all of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, he's four years old. Um, we're so, so proud of him because he's so smart and he's yeah. so loving and um, his level of curiosity oh, very and, good. and his... <laughs> It's, it's just something that, you know, we're just always, every day, it's something that we're oh. proud of. Pancho is diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. And, you know, kids in the spectrum, my son mm -hmm. um, uh, was diagnosed with autism, mm -hmm. and they're all different. Mm -hmm. But how did you develop him? Um, of course, that's with the help of yeah. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really a village. And there are so many doctors and therapists, and until now, we're still learning. Like, Jim and I just took a course, a full mm -hmm. course on developing his intelligence. The best thing that we did, with the help of the therapist's friend, was to not coddle him so much. 
apparently that's what happens when especially kung nang, nanggaling sa yung NICU na you know you see that they go through so much that almost every day kinukulan sila ng blood binipick sila and mm-hmm. because of that you just really want to you know protect them yeah. and never let them go through anything horrible yeah and um, spoil them and we ended up spoiling him um, for for a time and when we would do therapy before it was like the moment he would cry we'd be like Oh my gosh! No, no, no! Stop! Na, stop! Na, no, no! Stop it! Na. But then, bute, um, our our therapist, TJ Ben, um, he was the one who like talked us through it and really said, na, you know, it, he is really gonna cry because this is new to him. Yes. He's learning. He's not getting hurt. We need the parents to really be on board yeah. with this. And so, at the start, it was difficult. But when we were told that. I think that's the best thing we could have done for him, mm-hmm. you know, to really let him explore. Even yeah. if, say, imagine mo when you're a baby, ba? Parang kung hindi mo bibigyan ng chance na malift na yung head niya, kasi may hirapan ka. Parang kung nagwork out nand, de ba? Mm-hmm. Iyak siya. Pero kung hindi mo siya bibigyan ng chance, ni talaga niya malift yung head niya. Mm-hmm. So now, as you can see, like he's mm-hmm. he's wonderful. Like his control is so good. He's now able to push himself up on all fours. And honestly, this is not what was expected of him based on the doctor's yeah. prognosis. Mm-hmm. Like they actually said that there's a chance that he would just be a vegetable and just you know, and we would just take care of him and accept that. Um, But thankfully, being guided by all of the experts mm-hmm. and being guided in by love, I think I think um, I have to hand it to me and Jim because I think we did a great job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alam niyo naman po, I also have a special child. Mm-hmm. So I love it that Pancho can point. Yes, you want to. Uh, alam niyo po that ano, these are milestones yeah. really when you're a mother with a special kid. So he can yeah. point yeah. and he walks. Yeah. He walks. Because it was that difficult. Oh yeah. We didn't, we didn't think he would get to this point so, so early. Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. What do you want? Why don't you let them crawl? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want to crawl. crawl. Okay, yeah. okay. Yawn. Yeah, you can do whatever okay. you want. Oh, okay. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Yes. Go. Okay. Where do you want to go? Go. Yeah. Oh. Oh oh. Oh, Pancho. Ang galing. Pancho. And he does, si, si Pancho, his head. Alam mo, for cerebral palsy kasi, di ba? The lifting of the head. Yes. Yeah, that, oh, oh, oh. that the, the lifting of the head improved so actually like, very Pancho. early on. Very good. Yeah, so, that, that was um, after, I think, one year. Yes. One year, he was, oh, oh. we were comfortable na letting him, you know, basically sit and not worried about oh, his oh. head drop. Where are you going, Kuya? <laughs> Puncher. Where are you going? Kaya kami walang shoes. Oh oh. Puncher. <laughs> How difficult is it to be a mother of a special child? I think it's difficult to see and to read about typical children and their families. And yes. parang for me, it's like okay. Parang I can't help but feel a little sting when I see, especially pag may may konting parang when I see other parents and like sort of complain about you know the small stuff and then it 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 used to make me resentful but then i learned chempe everyone has to go through different experiences it's not their fault this is their experience um but for me i think what this has what what this has brought out in me is parang i couldn't think of my my difficulty as the parent lalo na i i acknowledge that i am privileged And I have the opportunities and the means, but my heart breaks because I joined a lot of these communities um, mm-hmm. on Facebook groups about, mm-hmm. you know, uh, families with special needs children. It's really difficult, yeah. you know. The, a lot of them can't afford the therapy that yeah. these children need so much, mm-hmm. and that's why then it's driven me and Jim to start talaga making it our life's. Yes. Uh, Our life's mission, mm-hmm. and you know, it's part of our monthly contribution, talaga, to give to to help mm-hmm. and support them. And we have this platform, JiminSab.com, where people yeah. can sign up and subscribe monthly, and then they get exclusive content. You know, these small things that we give, and 100% of their subscription goes to charity. Let's watch me do. What does it say? Yeah. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he wants to crawl around. Are, are you hungry, Pa? Are you want to crawl around, Pa? Okay, okay. Fish. Okay. And? 
Go. Okay. What does it say? Having a second child really, of course, changes the special child. Yeah. It's the same mm -hmm. with David and Lucas. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Brought out the best. What in did you see na nagbago? Pancho started talking more, verbalizing more, and moving more. I think it encouraged him to really do more because he's seeing, you know, a person of his size ren doing these things every day. And then they want to play together all the time. And I think they're very good for each other because on the other hand, Civito, si people call him a genius. I also think he's a genius because he he can read na. He's two years old and he can uh, name all the planets and all of these things without us actually making him like do this, do this, mm -hmm. memorize. He, he does genius. it for fun. Yeah. He does it for fun, <laughs> talaga. And he said he can say the alphabet backwards. But I can't even do that. I learned actually through my course for Pancho. Now it's because when you have a special needs child. As parents, you really want to make the environment as best as it can be for this, the, the, his special needs. Mm -hmm. And because of the neurologically rich environment, na exposed to yung next child. Mm -hmm. So he's able to absorb all of that. Galing! Bravo! Oh! Oh, nagtatouch. Oh, it's really. Hi, dear. It's really the therapy of movement, yeah. Let's go, 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 I think he has brought out like, so much patience in me. And it's just pure love. Na parang, I'm not watching out for the next milestone or the next yeah. expectation and whatever. It's just really like supporting him, being there, giving him opportunities. And I feel like that's how I've become to everyone else around me. I feel like I really want to I really want to keep helping and you know, help with self-improvement and that ties in with what we do um, on the podcast and everything. Um, and also, we, we keep trying to improve ourselves. How did Pancho change you as a person? Uh, I think my whole life changed. <laughs> I mean, well, number one, you, you go through your quarter life, yeah. you know, like trying to find an identity for yourself and a purpose. And oh. I mean, day one. I had purpose now. Mm. And um, how did he change my life? I, I, I mean, gratitude. Talaga. It's been gratitude. And, uh, and to be honest, like a life of faith, we, it, it was bef before that, uh, we, we, I wouldn't say that, no, but that because of Pancho and my, my kids, like that's been such an integral part of our lives. Yeah. You have to teach your husband. Very early on, his cognitive was very, very strong. Mm. Oh, it's... Do you need the volume up? How do you say volume up? Volume? Volume? Music? Up. Yeah, up. up. Yeah. Very good. Galing. Okay. Alexa, Did volume you have up. to learn certain to... languages? Yung the sign Some, too. but most of it yeah. is invento. <laughs> invento. Invento lang. Okay. okay. What's next? And then, oh, oh, yes, yes, okay, okay. Then what's next? Diamond. What's next? Diamond. Diamond. I'm doing it. They teach you the kind. What's next? And then, how I want her. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're so cute. You're so cute. You are so cute. You know what? The biggest blessing Alexa. is he is present in oh, the yeah. moment. Oh, yeah. Super, super. I'm curious, what was it like growing up with Francis Magalona as your father? Um, it was fun, definitely. But it's also the reason why I am averse to, you know, the the actual spotlight. Yeah. Guy. I remember walking in the mall and then, you know, people staring and then asking for autographs. So, lapang selfies, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my dad was just always so nice and would never say no. And 
of course, as a kid, I'm just like, ano pa yan? Parang, tara na, let's go na to the toy store yeah. or whatever. Para, can, can we have our dad back? Parang, I was that like young mm -mm. girl na parang, I didn't understand it. I knew it was rude to stare at people, right? You're taught that, diba? So parang, I just didn't like the eyes on my family. Oh. And then, of course, I grew up, I understood it na. But how my dad is and how he naturally is made for this, I don't feel like mm -mm. <clears throat> I am. Ako parang, Konting -konting. Yeah. I, I am the man, but uh -huh. like, not so much. <laughs> if your dad were alive today, how how would he be with Pancho? Oh, I think he would be having so much fun with him. Yeah, he's very <laughs> he's very childish <laughs> to a fault, actually. Pero arayon, I, I'm sure they would be you know crawling all around and you know being so playful yeah. with both uh -oh. my kids. Oh, alam niya, oh, alam um, niya. This mom has a special kid aww. too. See? Right? Are you so sweet, no? Si, pa, you know, right? Pancho, you, you say know Pancho. Tita Karen understands. You say Pancho loves. Yeah. Tita, who do you love? Tita Karen. Oh, Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Was it difficult for you also to go through this experience? Given that you're not an ordinary person, so to speak, you're Francis Magalona's daughter. Yeah. So did you feel that, what will people say? Yeah, I did. I did go through that. Um, it actually, I think it took me a year before I said it. Not because I was ashamed of it or anything, but actually cerebral palsy, it, it technically is not diagnosed until a child is at least two years old. So parang, mm -hmm. you know, I saw some signs, but then even the therapist said, parang, we can't say for sure what it is, what his actual diagnosis is. Sa akin, parang, I was like, I don't know if it's something I need to say, na parang announce, because I work with brands, right? Yeah. And then I was, I was struggling because brands would want to include Pancho. And then I was always thinking like, do I, do I need to disclose? Now there's, yeah. There, there's something special about him or Pareho like tayo. That. So I would say, I would just say no, 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 no. And then later on, parang I gained the confidence na parang, na parang, well, you know what, you can, I can say it if, you know, para lang they know. And if they don't want to work with him, then I don't want to work with them, mm -hmm. right? Siguro, I was just so protective of him that if I tell them, would they want to say no? And then I would get so hurt on behalf of my child. But then I thought like, well, I don't want to work with brands who feel like yeah. this is not something that's part mm -hmm. of their branding. Yeah. Parang, yeah. So let's talk about, I think Jim as a father. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, uh, absolutely wonderful. Like my kids are obsessed with him, like climbing all over him all the time. Parang the the whole day it's like papa, 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 papa. They love him so much. He's such a fun dad, and I feel like it's so funny because he never met my dad, but they are they're, they're the same. You're kidding? Yes, and he never got to meet my dad. No, that they're the same. Ah, yes, they are. Yes, they <laughs> that's are. Exactly. amazing. Everything. And it's kind of weird. It means it's like that's what you're attracted to. It's, <laughs> it's like yeah. It's, it's human nature, right? Yeah. It's, but of course, like it's a little strange. But then I see like he's like playing video games, and my dad loves playing. That's why I love video games. So I think that's what attracted us to each other and music, of yeah. course. I feel like I have my dad's blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with with Jim, and it's just. He's just so perfect, especially as a father and as a partner. Grabe naman to. Oh, I can't Grabe pa maganap kayo nang tulad ni Jim. Ito, 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 ito. Really? He's not a perfect man, but I think he's a perfect for me. Yeah. Can you give her a flying kiss? Oh, sweet naman. Can you give her a flying kiss? Wow. Ah, can you give, can you show her who's guapo? Who's guapo? Yes, who's guapo? Who's maganda? Who's maganda? Hmm? Who's maganda? Me, it's mama. <laughs> you say Pancho? You say Pancho? Love. My God, he is so adorable. <laughs> Look at that smile. Pancho, you're always smiling. Yeah. Hi. Hi. It's my sweetheart. You say bye bye. Can you kiss? Kali, good mm -hmm. job. Okay. Looking back, mm -hmm. what saved his life? I really think it was Jim. Because I couldn't be there 
course, you know, I wish I could have been there. But see, Jim would be there with him every day, especially when I couldn't. He would sing to him, play him music, and, you know, touch his hand, and just give him all that positive energy. And he would talk to him and tell him that, we're, that they were gonna get out of there. That's why I think so highly of my husband. He really saved my son and in turn saved me. Miracles still happen today, and it all starts with love in the family. Kung kayo ay may pinagdadaanan, merong may sakit sa inyong pamilya, let me leave you with this verse to encourage you. Psalms 146 verse 8, The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the righteous. Don't give up, don't lose faith, the Lord knows what you are going through. Hang in there. I do hope to see you again next week. And please don't forget to watch, share our videos, at syempre naman, please subscribe.